Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk a little bit about how to edit the user view within Metasys. Uh, of course the user view is a great way to customize the way that you see particular information within your system. Uh, instead of having everything grouped together such as all of the VAVs, you can actually go in and break them up by the floor and make it much easier to locate a specific room or a specific controller within your system. I'm just uh, scanning through here showing you a few things. Of course we have uh, you know our system here. We have you know different summaries for the VAVs. Uh, we have you know folders broken up by the uh, floor and just different ways of doing things. Here in the all items side, you can see that, uh, you know, when you look at a particular controller, everything is just thrown in there. It really depends on how those particular controllers are pulled in as far as the way that it looks in your system. You know, a lot of times they're out of order and it can make it a real challenge to actually locate a specific controller. But what we're going to do is edit the user view. I'm just going to show you here by adding a couple of points, some of the basic elements. Uh, what we're going to do is actually add just a couple of points from a couple of exhaust fan commands that are within the system. You see here we currently do not have uh, a couple of the points that we want so what we're going to do is actually go in and find them and this is another thing about the uh, way well, you can customize user views here is the controller that contains the particular points that we want to pull into the user view folder what we're going to do is edit the user view and actually bring those points into the particular view that we're using Underneath your system, there should be a folder entitled User View. Your user views are stored on the ADX server themselves. You pull over the particular user view you want to edit. You press the Edit button. You highlight the folder of where you want to add the particular point. And then you have your options here above the top of... Uh, you know, of adding your particular points. You must click on the folder or you will not be able to add a particular point. You can also create a new folder, you know, folders within folders. We're simply going to delete that one back out. I just wanted to show you how you could uh, create one. So here we're going to highlight this folder. We're going to click there, the little icon for adding a reference and that's going to bring up our network tree and what we're going to do now is drill down into our network and we're going to find those particular points within that controller so we're going to scroll down here we're simply going to highlight one of the points and we're going to press OK that brings that particular point into the system that is one way of doing it. Another way is, it's again, pressing the item reference. We highlight our folder. We drill back down through our network map. And you can actually bring in multiple control points by clicking on one, pressing the control button, finding the next point that you want as you hold that control button, clicking on it as well. You can see here we actually have a few different points highlighted and we now have pulled four points into the system. Uh, you can see from just that one instance of me going back in there we we're able to pull all of those points. Now we're going to save that and when we pull that particular folder again we do not see our points still. You've got to remember to do a refresh all tabs on your system. You right click and select fresh all, refresh all tabs and that is the only way uh, that you will be able to get your changes to show up. You can, of course, you can log out of the system, close the window out, and then log back in, and it will show up that way. But if you simply do the refresh all, you can see here now we have the points. You'll also notice, particularly now with the way these are pulled in, that 
they're out of order. Now what we can do there is go back into the user view and we can actually go in and put those particular items in order any way that we want. So once again we go back into our user view, we drop down to the folder that has the points that we want to move. Once we get to there we simply highlight the one that we want and these two arrows here is an up and down arrow. We can simply click to move the point up or down within our view and that's just one of the ways you can do it. You can also grab the point click and drag the particular point to where you may want it just like I'm doing here just grab it you know click and drag drop it and there you are uh, you can also highlight multiple points and move them as well and the way that you do that is you simply click the first one hold your control button click the next one and then you move them and they will actually move as a group as you can see here and you know they will move just one point at a time uh, up and down just you know wherever you need to put them and once you have them in the right location you hit save and once you hit save you got to remember again to do the refresh or it will not show up correctly and once again we do the refresh now let's go back and look at the uh, folder at those control points and once we pull those over, uh, this time you can see that now they are in order. It's a very simple process. User views are a very great way in organizing the information within your system. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope that this video is helpful to you. Leave any questions in the comments down below. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,